longest time, catching a smallmouth on the fly rod has avoided me like the plague. People all around me would be catching smallmouth, and with my luck, I would just be hooking into stripers or largemouth all day. Something about the fish has always, well, to be quite frank, kicked my butt. Smallmouth in Texas are not the easiest fish to come by, but they're still prevalent enough to make one think that you should be able to catch them on the regular. When this summer rolled around, I decided I was going to change that. So for the past two weeks, I've been on the hunt to catch a smallmouth in Texas, and this is where it led me. So at this point, I know what you're thinking. Cole, these are not smallmouth bass that you're catching. And yeah, you would be right. For the better part of the last two weeks, Justice and I searched for that smallmouth bass, but the usual reoccurring theme just kept on happening. You fish and fish and fish, and you catch decent largemouth along the way. The elusive hill country smallmouth bass still managed to avoid me. However, in the process, we did find some new tactics in order to catch the bigger bass on lakes. And as a bycatch, Justice caught her first white bass on the fly rod. All in all, the search for a smallmouth bass was hard and frustrating, but I was having fun doing it. With a little bit of persistence and a change in tactics, I had confidence that we were going to change the tide. The elusive smallmouth bass out of the Texas Hill Country would be mine. And for the next couple days, we kept at it and new success will come our way eventually.
I win. <laughs> I win. Let's see him. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm using this new fly that I'm developing, yet to get a name. It'll be named within the next month. Still working on a couple kinks, but this is what we've been throwing on in the lakes and catching all these fish on. It's a, it's kind of a crafter head with with some stuff coming out the back. Get out of this fish. Yeah. Audio to the fish. We got bucktail coming out the back. Uh, some a dubbing loop to. I stub in the back with some bucktail coming out. Uh, still working on a name for it and working out some of the kinks, uh, but that's what we've been using and tearing apart. Just caught that my first smallmouth on it. Uh, Justice caught her first white bass on it. I just caught another largemouth with it. It's a it's been a pretty good species or it's been a pretty good little pattern. Uh, just working out some of the kinks. The name will come and I'll do a tying video on this as well. And but yeah, so that's what we've been using. After looking back on my mini adventure searching after Texas smallmouth bass, I think about the qualities that it takes to be successful doing that kind of thing. Persistence and enjoying the process of learning a new craft go a long way into creating success. It's just like anything else in life. The more effort you put into it and learning from your mistakes and failures ends up creating a successful behavior that ultimately leads to your own accomplishments in the future. So with that, whatever you're working on, keep at it. Don't be afraid of failure, and success will come your way. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed just another video from Rickerson Outdoors. Give us a like or a follow if you feel compelled. Share it with your friends if you think there's a lesson to be learned. With that, y'all take it easy. God bless.